Okay, first things first, I want to create a new project, and I want to call this Vex EDR Parts. And I will create this project folder. Okay, so inside this project folder, I'm going to house all of the parts that I'm going to upload. So if you notice right here, there's my upload. Uh, so uh, when I press upload, I can drag and drop, and that's what we want to do. It's going to be the easiest thing. So where do I get my files? You can go to the, the VEX website and get your kit of parts files, or you can go to this handy dandy list that I put in Fusion 360 CAD, and I can download uh, this zip file. So notice the extension is a zip. That means that these are files are not usable until you unzip them. Right? It's just like a teddy bear with stuffing, and you want to open it up, and then all the stuffing comes out. So that's what we're trying to do. So we go here, and you can see what's contained inside these. But you want to download this whole zip folder. We're going to download this anyway because I have already scanned it, so you're good to go. Then once this is finished downloading, then we're going to open this folder in our download. So you want to go to your documents folders and then you want to access your downloads so you'll notice that i've done this before previously show it demonstrating how this is done so uh, once we go here you notice it's a dot zip right that's my file extension so i need to extract all these i can go to extract all it just depends on the method of extraction you're using so if i click on extract all it's going to locate these it's going to say c users terror robotic six downloads fusion kit of parts so this is where it would place all of the files I'll go ahead and extract those. You're going to notice that it is going to be 576 items that it is going to extract. Now, this has been done several times on my computer. So, once again, uh, we're just repeating a process that's already been done. So, I'm going to go back to my Fusion 360 uh, interface and I'm going to go search for files or I'll drag and drop them. So, if I go here, uh, go into my downloads, I can look for those extracted parts and if you look now all that file has become just a K KOP so that's kit of parts but you notice it's not a zip so what I want you to do is go ahead and take that whole folder and then you're going to copy that folder and you're going to notice that it brings everything into Fusion 360. So it's working hard to do this. You may uh, see that any CAD design program is going to, oh no, shut down your computer. Oh no. All right, so uh, we, you know, file and we dropped it right in here, and you'll notice that here are all of my files. And so I'm going to press upload, and then the files are going to begin to upload into this particular folder. All right, so we have everything that's uploading. You'll notice that in your uh, panel over here, you're starting to see all the parts pop up. And once they pull up, and I'm going to go back to a folder that's already um, created, you'll notice that I uh, have several of them, have multiple projects going on, but here's my main folder. So inside this main folder, you're going to see all the parts. They're in separate folders. I don't recommend this. Uh, I recommend understanding the parts so you can go and search for them and find them.